Hey guys, sorry for the uh, sloppy workbench, but just finished up with this 1100 auto drive that we've just uh, completed. And what we've been able to do is machine out the back of the press and remove the press back strap. And the press now will rotate all the way around. So being a direct drive motor, with a uh, the chain coupling is for a misalignment clutch so that way if our machine shop gets the uh, motor mount hole a few thousandths off one direction or the other the misalignment clutch takes up for, for that slack <clears throat> we've made a new crankshaft to allow us to drive the press from the left side which also frees up the sway drive mechanism making it real easy to connect or disconnect the sway drive depending on the operation that you're doing so let's just go ahead and turn it on again you've got the smoothness of the complete crankshaft 360 degree motion there's no stopping and starting to go back and forth back and forth ensures a uh, that you get a full stroke every time there's no stepper motors to uh, lose count which is uh, they're prone to do. The faster you run a stepper motor, it can lose count. Just a very smooth operation. And uh, this particular drive will go up to 3,800, 3,840. Just as smooth as can be. Of course, then we have uh, powder dwell. So it, this is configurable the uh, magnets <clears throat> we've got a magnet ring here so you've got two magnets right here that you can adjust the position on this is the index wall magnets and then we've also got the powder drop dwell magnets so you can change those and then you can go into the VFD and control how much dwell and how fast and the acceleration when it comes out of dwell all that good stuff like I was saying if you want to remove the sway drive mechanism Pull the pin, pull that pin, rotate it, off it comes, no more swaging. Just that simple. And I'm not going to try it one-handed, but it, uh, it goes back on just as easy. We do have guards. I don't have the guards printed up yet. We've already got the, the base plate pre-tap front and rear for guards. So that way you can keep uh, inquisitive fingers out of the out of the eccentric as it's rotating around, keep people from getting their fingers mashed. But other than that, it's, it's a, it really came out nice. We're really happy with it. Uh, we had to make our own uh, roller dog, which we did out of brass. So that'll be your wear item. Keeps the wear from occurring on your shoulder bolt or the more expensive index arm. And then you can see here where we've machined out for the clearance for the, the roller dog. So, you will have to send your press to us for modification. It's a one-time modification. Um, but uh, the cool thing is, is unlike uh, a competitor's drive, Dylan actually hardened these. So the inner and outer eccentrics are going to last one heck of a lot longer than the, the competitor's drive uh, eccentric lasted. That about sums it up. If you've got any questions, give us contact. Um, $2,200 plus shipping. And again, you'll have to ship us your press for modification. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.